Uh, water is outside. Where do we go at that point? There was nowhere to go but sit home and go go to the second floor and hope that everything will be okay. You know, my children in the house, my husband. We didn't know what to do. It was just insane. And then my salon is directly across the street from the ocean on Cross Bay Boulevard. Uh, we got eight feet of water in our salon. We've only built our salon 26 months ago. It was brand new. It took, I took my whole life savings. I wanted to be home and raise my children after being a platform artist and working for a manufacturer for so many years. I decided to be home for a little while to raise my kids, put my life savings into that, and 26 months later, it was all gone. It was just insane. It's insane what water and sewage could do. Everything was ruined. ruined. So, um, you know, after the storm happened, as we talked about earlier, and you wake up the next day and you take a whole team of people, I mean, what went through your brain the next day? Once you were in safety, and you were you knew that you that you had your lives. It's not a bad dream. You wake up and you feel what? The next day it was just insane. You're looking around, you're looking at your home, your whole basement destroyed, your cars destroyed. We go we walk to the salon because we have no cars. We pry open the gates, we look at what's left and it was like eight feet of water. Everything destroyed. I'm looking at my staff. And I don't know what to say to them, and I have to be the strong one because I'm the owner. And I'm, all I keep thinking in my head is, oh my God, how am I going to do this? I'm trying to tell them it's going to be okay, but how do I do this again when your life savings is in the salon already and it's gone and you're stuck paying for it? You know, but I can't let my, my crew down. They, I can't. I love them too much. And everything around us was destroyed. 